Cleveland's number one draft pick, Eric Metcalf. The Browns paid a high price for the draft rights to the highly touted thoroughbred from Texas, but the rookie was ready for the challenge. The first time I stepped on the football field, I've been asked to run the ball a lot, asked to catch the ball a lot. When they drafted me in the first round, I felt they drafted me for those purposes so I could make a big contribution. Hand off to Metcalf, second man through, 5 4 3 2 one touchdown Brown! Metcalf flashed raw speed and rare cutting ability on his prancing promenades into the end zone. Kosar throw it to Metcalf in the backfield to the five to the four. Three, two, one. Touchdown, Browns. What a set of moves on that guy. He put the wiggle and jiggle on it. It's about the five. Had a couple of the Bengals. Rashford Ferrer. His ability to shift gears and make people miss are instinctive. Eric attributes them to his NFL bloodlines. I, mean, I don't really think about which way I'm going to go. It's just something that happens naturally. It's pretty much what I've inherited from my dad and watching my dad. I just do it and whatever happens, happens. Like he was in the long jump championships of the NCAA. Metcalf is a former NCAA long jump champion. He's also the most dangerous weapon to wear a Browns uniform in many years. The Eric Metcalf game. Maybe you've heard of it. Those who saw it live, myself included, will never forget it. But for those who don't remember the game or Metcalf, you missed out. Think of the former Browns running back as a Darren Sproles of the laser disc generation. A guy who could do it all in the 1990s. And trust me, he could do it all. Metcalf displayed enough talent at the University of Texas to be the 13th overall pick in the 1989 draft, the famed 1989 draft. Sure, a few folks were selected before him, like Troy Aikman, Barry Sanders, Derek Thomas, and Deion Sanders. Yet you need to look no further than Metcalf's roots. Family roots, not draft roots to understand the former scatback's pedigree. Metcalf's father, Terry, was the NFL's premier all-purpose back in the mid-1970s, helping Don Coriel's Cardinals to the playoffs in 1974 and 1975. His 2,462 all-purpose yards in 1975 set an NFL record at that time and was done in only 14 games. A decade and a half later, son Eric was making a name for himself in the big league. That beauty was Metcalf's first career touchdown. The former UT standout put up over 1,700 all-purpose yards as a rookie while helping the Browns, really helping the Browns, make it all the way to the AFC Championship game. After Bill Belichick took over in Cleveland, it seemed he and his staff could never figure out how to use Metcalf in 91 and 92. Yet in 93, Belichick and company found themselves in the thick of the AFC Central race, finding ways to use Metcalf on offense more and more. In a battle for first place against the Steelers in Week 8, this special player showed the value of special teams. Royals with a punt. Eric Metcalf has already taken 191 yards for a score. He has this one at the 25. Metcalf to the outside. Oh, no. Metcalf at midfield. Metcalf cuts back. He's still on his feet. Metcalf! Like his father had done 18 years earlier, Metcalf paced the league in all-purpose yards that season, although the Browns failed to reach the playoffs. But Metcalf did his part to make sure Cleveland would make the postseason in 1994, starting on opening day. Oh, Metcalf just undrafted one man. Down the sideline, Metcalf could take it all the way. Metcalf. 
Following the season, Metcalf sought greener pastures and more opportunities to touch the ball. After being used heavily the previous year, he had not been as involved on offense as much in 1994. Ironically, while the Browns made headlines signing former Falcons wideout Andre Risen, it would be Metcalf replacing Risen's production in Atlanta. Fires deep. Metcalf touchdown. George airs it out. Metcalf touchdown Atlanta. Pass complete Eric Metcalf, and he is all alone. Touchdown Atlanta. The one-time running back turned wide receiver rebounded with 104 receptions in June Jones's run and shoot offense. That's incredible. Although 1995 would represent his high watermark in offensive production, Metcalf would continue to be a terror in the return game. Two years later, Metcalf was first team all pro in San Diego when he returned three punts all the way. Look out, there he goes, Metcalf, that's exactly what he can do. He's 